Black Few. Yeah. Well, all right, this thing's working. Let's roll. Hmm? Let's roll. Well, let's roll. Okay. There's Lee. There's Rob. Yeah. Our inner mess. We're doing some reconstruction, remodeling right now. We just had a big get together for 420. Looks so, great in here. Yeah. And this is the beginning of our hemp museum. We're basically going to have everything known to man that was made out of hemp and, and every piece of history that we can come across. And we got charts showing the different. That's you know, important, right? Yeah, there. the cannabinoids and the different uses for each mm -hmm. cannabinoid in the plant. And some people don't understand that there's a lot more than just THC to the cannabis plant. And the CBD, as you can see, has had more actually is more medical properties to it than the actual THC mm -hmm. so molecule. This was some of the original medicine that yes. was made out of it? Yeah. Picture this. And, uh, they, used, they basically used uh, hemp back in the day to make yarn. And, uh, yeah. DuPont doesn't like that. Uh, Why don't you think they're doing it these days? That, that plant could be used for so many things. Oh yeah. These are actually replicas of, of medicine bottles with cannabis in them and uh, several of them were made here in Michigan. We got Jackson, Michigan here for mm -hmm. cough syrup and Detroit, Michigan here, neurological medicine. These are reconstructions? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, a, an actual bottle like this, if you could find one, oh, collectors. would be three to four hundred dollars yeah. per bottle. And you just you just can't find them. There are very few out there, but we are, we do have some people that are going to be putting their collections on display here. Awesome. On loan to us actual scripts from the early 1900s <coughs> written for cannabis. It was the medicine was actually in 80% of all of our medicine, yeah. cannabis extracts, you know, so it's not a new thing, it's actually old technology, it's just coming back to life now. Breaking through it's the about time. Yeah, and we have basically a skeleton of one of our plants here. Oh. That, was, that would have been an outdoor grown plant, uh, organic plant. And then we're gonna, we're gonna have all the Basically, information on how our forefathers used it and how they grew it, and used it in their everyday life, you know, for medicine. Our first American flag was made out of cannabis. The first draft of the Constitution yeah, yeah, was written yeah, on cannabis. Uh, makes an excellent biofuel, 600% 600, 600 more productive than corn. In so what about fuel? It will be uh, not fuel, but oil for a car. This is what Same this thing. is. Yep. It is. This is wow. actually diesel. So it would, it's. If we were growing this in bulk like we should be, it'd be about 15 cents a gallon, but unfortunately this is $16 a bottle, so yeah. it wouldn't be efficient to run your big on it, but we also have a original Popular Mechanics a magazine here from 41 with Henry Ford's hemp car. It's made out of hemp? The yep, car is? Yep. Stronger than steel. The hemp was in the paint. They actually replaced lead with hemp oil in paint. Originally, it was hemp oil, and they replaced that with lead. And uh, oh, so his product. his goal was to grow a car from the earth, you know, from the ground, and he pretty much achieved it. It was the interior was hemp, the paint was hemp, the body was made out of hemp. Um, plastic, high temperature plastic parts in the motor were made inscribed from hemp. Ironic that Flint is right down the road with the problem with the lead. Yes, and this and would take care crazy. of it, isn't it? And then uh, Benjamin Franklin actually was the first. <clears throat> One to have a cannabis uh, paper factory in the United States. So this is 100% cannabis paper. The Geneva Bible was written mm -hmm. on cannabis paper, first English Bible. I imagine Franklin probably smoked it too. Yeah, I'm sure he did. So he come up with his ideas. I'm sure. There's some old relics, like this is an old water pipe from, mm -hmm. you know, China, and it's showing a showing a Chinese man making bang, which is a uh, hemp beer. And then we've got an old little uh, hashy smoking pipe there. And yeah, it was in Morocco when they had a the, the, the had one a little Mayan clay pipe. It's like an Aztec clay mm -hmm. pipe right there. So it's all we've been used all over the world. And in yeah. India, in Nepal, they had this hashy spire. It's been there forever. So it's like that. Yeah. Nepal. Yeah. And then we just have our base. This is more of a. This is gonna. This is their whole reason right here. Oh yeah. The starting propaganda of why they. I love that using, movie. You know that movie is nuts. <laughs> I know it is. 
Hey, youthful marijuana victims. They look like they're in their 40s to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, there's one guy. He's like this all the time. <laughs> yeah. With a big smile on his face on weed and killing people. So and, this was the beginning of the propaganda yeah. you know, against cannabis. Then they made it illegal, and then they had to come back in 37 and come out with a hand stamp just to start growing again because they, they needed it for war. They needed it for World War II. There's the hemp yeah. stamp. Yeah, in 36 it was made illegal, in 37 they come back out and had to make it legal again just so they could supply <coughs> the rope, basically, for, for the World War, war. Yeah. Yeah. And all this, all the ships, and their sails are made out of hemp. Yeah. All the covered wagons, thanks a lot. All their covered wagons that, you know, they basically traveled across the United States, it was made out mm -hmm. of hemp, and then the, Hempstead. You know, the yeah. Can or canvas is a derivative of cannabis, you know, because it was originally made out of cannabis, the burlap, I guess. Yeah. So you can make anything from is that from bigger? Yeah. Cellophane to dynamite out of the plant. Hemp creates stronger than steel, and it petrifies, and it lasts forever. We've got bridges from the 1300s in Europe made out of hemp creek. Makes the best. Hemp creek. Yeah. Actually, Henry Ford's technology, Lotus, the sports car company, mm -hmm. uses his exact technology for their bodies and their car to race their footprint. And their seats are made out of it, their door panels are made out of it. Uh, Mercedes and BMW, they use a lot of hemp in their plastic parts of their vehicles. Is it coming back now? I mean, Yes, it is. Okay. It's becoming, I mean, it's That's even, right there's now. different spots in Kentucky and Oregon where they're growing hemp again. Mm -hmm. You know, they're allowing us to basically grow it. So what state are they allowed? Is there some state that has six plants per person? Yeah, that's in Colorado. It's if in Colorado. you're over 19 years old, you're allowed to grow six plants. And that's pretty, coming to Michigan soon. We'll be, a, I'm sure we're going to be a recreational state for personal use. in November. Yeah. Okay. In November? It's on the ballot. Yeah. Oh. They're thinking about making it law before the vote because they want to keep the basically Democrats out of the polls. So if they make it a law before the vote, then the Democrats are le the Democrats are less likely to go to vote. Because mm -hmm. if they go for cannabis, they'll be voting on other things, you know? So their best move for the Republicans are to make it legal ahead of time, keep them out of the polls. It's Smart. Yeah. So then over here we got, uh, this is the more modern age, I guess. There's a 1969 Life magazine, you know, with uh, someone Smoking marijuana right on the cover of it, so that was back in '69. And it was one of our collector's items. Uh, Snoop Dogg signed the skateboard. <laughs> 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 Darren McCarty, Red Wings player, he recovered from uh, alcohol abuse and drug abuse with cannabis. Really? Uh, yup. So he's yeah. signed that pipe for us. Uh, and then, uh, we'll where'd you get the name Destination 420? We just wanted this to be more of a destination, you know, we mm -hmm. come up with the destination and the 420 is well known for being the time that people use cannabis for the first time of the day. That's where they got the 420. 420. From, oh, so 420 AD? Or what do you? 420 PM is oh, the PM. time that the most, the, the, the average person will use cannabis really? in the day. Wow. Like cocktail yeah. hour. Yeah, okay. basically. All right. Get yeah. your work Six done, get your work things done and mm -hmm. start to relax, I guess. So they did a poll years ago, and that's what they come up with. The socks are made out of? They're made out of cotton. They're not oh, hemp. Okay. But we do, we are going to have hemp apparel in here. Yeah. We have 100% hemp t-shirts and, you know, clothing and shoes and different things. I mean, there's no limit. Anything that's sure. made out of wheat can be made out of hemp seed. So it can feed us. Mm -hmm. We can make the best biofuel out of it. Henry Ford used to let it rot, and they'd make uh, uh, methane uh, or methanol out of it, mm -hmm. gas from just the gases coming off the rotten hemp. Probiotics too. Yeah. It can uh, uh, What do you call it? Yeah. Kombucha. Yeah. Kombucha. Yeah. And then basically over this way, we got all our CBD products, and these are legal for anybody to use. You don't have to have a card. And basically, it's uh, it's the hemp plant. Again, the cannabis plant, but it's the it's the hemp strain, and and all these products have less than 0.03% THC in them, so it's legal to ship them 
over state lines. Anybody can use them, children can use them, you know, a lot of elderly, and we've actually been um, combining it with our THC patients, and they've been getting off the THC and onto the oh. CBD. Well, is there any psycho, uh, psychotropic effects no, from not. the CBD? No, it's all in the body. It's a painkiller, a seizure stopper. Um, we've got kids with ADD uh, getting off the Ritalin on it. We've mm -hmm. got autistic kids coming out of their shell with it. Hey. Hi. Good, how are you? Good to see you too. Who do we have here? Oh, this is Allison. She's a writer. I don't want to be on TV. Oh, you, you smell good too. Yeah. This is Lee. Hi. Hi. Hi, Lee. How are you? This is Allison Shatter of <laughs> Tikkun Olam. Okay, I'm taking you off. Yeah. <laughs> so then, all the basically textiles that's used for over 5,000 different textiles. You that still soak awesome. the canvas. Yeah, how you like it? Oh my gosh, it's like so much better. Yeah. Where's so everybody? These are our CBD products right here. Where's everybody in the back room? Yeah, they're just moving some stuff around. But how you like the new sign? Oh, I love it. You look good too. Oh, thank it's so you. nice to see you again. <laughs> So anyways, we okay, can head I, into this. I won't. If you don't want me to, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How much are you going to put online? Uh, <laughs> just, just uh, I can put Marilyn Monroe's face on here or something. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know. So now we're entering into the uh, okay. THC side of the business. The THC side? to see the cards. Oh, look at this. Uh -huh. You got buds here. here. Who's here? Um, my son and Paul. Are they back here? No, we got uh, Everett back here. Oh, I don't know how. Yep. Uh, this is basically oh. how it's done in Michigan at this time. Mm. Girl Scout Cookie? Mm -hmm. Is that the name of the brand? Yes. So, um, this is, this is uh, Black Market? No, this is the 100% legal. So you, oh, okay. Yeah, we're operating under a temporary <laughs> state license. No, it's, it's right. green market. Yeah, basically. It's a green market. Here's the drawings of our facility, all the build outs that we're going to be doing. We're standing right here. This mm -hmm. is going to be our museum, and this is going to be a CBD warehouse outlet mall right here. And we're going to have a can of cafe right here, and a lounge, and a glass blower, and these are our classrooms. Who's and, uh, going to be your glass blower? Tyler. <sighs> Yeah. That's a great and idea. This is our future grow right here. We're combining two, this is our compound. We're combining these two barns together, which would be, this would be the finished product. And uh, we got seven grow rooms in the lower level, and then we got an upper level that's going to be a veg room and a genetics room. Mm -hmm. So them are our drawings. Now, do you have to put that's, in this elevator? That's me before I shave. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's you. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I remember you had that beer. <laughs> yeah. So, are you happy to get rid of the beard? You know, you. It was actually a lot of work, to believe it, uh, believe it or not. Long yeah. hair and a beard. I mean, it takes a lot to clean it, yeah, that's comb yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Put some oil. Take some in notes. Oil. Yeah, I'm working on that. Take yeah. notes, brother. Yeah, a little collage of uh, our museum and it kind of pulls everything together to show how we've used it throughout our history. Mm -hmm. The medicine right. itself. And then these are basically our medical bar here. We've got anything, anywhere from gummies to suckers and crispy treats and brownies and cookies. And, and this re requires a medical card. Yes, this is a. Uh, Do you have any free samples? Um, <laughs> Not unless you got a card. <laughs> <laughs> I got cards, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, we've even infused it into juice or Kool Aid. Mm -hmm. So who makes that? It's cannabis in infused. In that case, do drink the Kool Aid. Huh? Does yeah. Southern Michigan make that? Yeah, do drink the Kool Aid. Yeah. Really? No. They make wow. the syrups too. Oh, oh so we've got infused <laughs> in the syrup. Okay. And we have different flavors. And then we, this is the big thing in Florida right here, the vape cartridges. Yeah. So this is what, this is what they allow in Florida, basically. This is what I got right here. Mm, it's nice. got a cartridge, but I'm going to drill a hole in the top of it. All right. So I can put in there anything I want. 
<laughs> and what were you planning on putting in it? <laughs> CBD. Of yeah, course. Okay. This is our uh, one of our best strains, our Cam Dog. Tests mm -hmm. out at 28% in THC. Hey. Wow. Yep, so <coughs> all different varieties with different smells. Mm -hmm. oh, here's a card. Good, how is it going for you? Pretty good. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you too. It has oh, yeah. been a while. So the I've been on the other side of town. A website would be on this? Um, on right this now, all the, the, we have for our website is not actually up and running, but it's on, it's yeah. called uh, Weed Max. To, mm -hmm. to buy the CBD that's out there. Yeah, we're it's in production right now. Okay. You can only call in order to add this down. Okay, we can call. Yes. Yep. But it, it's coming soon, very soon. We're putting it together for really quick. Yeah. So where do you uh, actually treat pe you actually treat people here? Yeah, we, we take them in an office. Okay. You know, and just kind of find yeah. out what's what's going on. I can show you the rest of it. Sure. This is all going to transform once we do our build out. You have now that we got our offers. Do you have time to do an interview state. today? Um, sure. We okay. do we do a little bit of processing back here. Everett, he's, gonna, he's doing the pre-rolls right now. He go through probably about 150 okay. to 200 a day. Okay. Yeah, so it's a constant job. <laughs> I guess. Look, you're using an old-fashioned instrument yeah. to roll those things. It looks like you're doing a good job, too. Crank them out. Mm -hmm. the only way if you do them by hand, that would hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I would think that there would be some kind of machine. You could just dump it in there. And oh, there is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Philip Morris, I've worked there. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. And this was a magazine article. This is the cover of the magazine that we we're in. And we basically started this whole dream by investors. We got 130 investors in our group, and we sold shares to purchase our Just building. like to your friends? You sold shares friends, to your friends family, too? Anyone you could get. Yeah. We mm -hmm. had 2,000 members of our network. Strangers, enemies. So, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so all these canvas companies here basically go up through our holdings company, and that's we sold. We're still selling actually 25% of our holding company. So anything that we produce through our businesses is going to run right through our holdings company, and that's what mm -hmm. our shareholders are getting paid off of. So we've done really well. You're doing a dividend already. Uh, dividend comes 24 months after mm -hmm. 24. buying your share, and the shares are $50 a share, basically. And um, you know, we, the, our first year of business is scheduled to do $50 million. So it's just going to build for Do you have a cap for how many shares you can yes. sell? Yes. Yes. You have you yeah. reached that? Uh, no. Yeah. We actually still got 20,000 shares available. Mm -hmm. So we sold 5,000 shares right now. About well, raised just under $500,000. How much are the shares? 50 bucks. It says 1,000 up there. Yeah, that's what we originally started selling them for. Okay. So we dropped them. We I had over-evaluated our company. <laughs> you split the shares at all? Yeah, that's what we did. Okay. Anybody that bought a share, they were split. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, we found, yeah, we had our company a little bit over-evaluated, but now we're actually back to where it is, but we're gonna leave the shares at the same rate. Can we, we just, buy some shares? We just want the average person to be able to get involved in the cannabis industry when there's no other way to do it. Mm -hmm. And me being a patient and actually getting involved because of my illness and how it helped me, I wanted everybody else to have an opportunity. Well, I've noticed there's all kinds of internet opportunities, right. but who knows what yeah. those are. This is a privately owned company. Mm -hmm. We're not going to trade on the stock market. Yeah. All of our basically oh. profits and dividends are going to go in through our holding company, right to it. It's going to be a, a quarterly paycheck, basically. Well, we know you. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> thing. <laughs> but yeah, it could be a good investment for somebody that, mm -hmm. you know, just has a little bit of money that they want to invest in something. And if nothing else, just a good cause. Mm -hmm. you know? And so we're going to have a museum. I mean, we're based on, you know, learning, teaching, training. We're going to be a technical training facility here for anybody that wants to work in the Michigan market. So they'll be able to learn here, and if they don't work for us, which we're going to be providing 105 jobs, they can go work at another facility within Michigan or Colorado mm -hmm. or wherever it's legal to be able to get some experience. So it'll be hands-on technical training. Well, while we're at this juncture, let me ask you, can you spell your name? Yes, R-O-B-B. -B. 
L A P E E N. P E E N. Yes. Don't okay. Please. Lapine. Okay. Yeah. Good. Lapine. French. And you have. Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Lapine. The hammer. <laughs> yeah. Basically. And uh, can you give us an email address? Sure. People want to get a hold of yeah. you. It's Rob R O B B at uwsholdings.com. UWS Holdings. Yep. Okay. United We Stand Holdings. Dot com. Yep. Right there it is. UWS Holdings. Great. And where are we in Clio, yeah. Michigan? Yeah, mid Michigan, Clio, okay. Michigan. All right. That's yeah. just north of Flint. In between Flint and Saginaw. You got water problems up here? Um, actually, no. We're in Thetford Township, third safest township in uh, Michigan. Great. Yeah, and it's been like four or five years in a row. Can you tell me a little about your clients? What What are they coming in for? Do you have an idea, or yeah, just what, anything if, from stage four cancer to Crohn's, glaucoma? I mean, it's just chronic pain seems to be one of our biggest, you know, concerns. Arthritis. I mean, we use topicals, CBDs. Mm -hmm. We basically try and help them with their dosage and help them with implementing methods and, you know, just get them on the right prescription. Yeah. It takes a little while. This research and sure. development, everybody is different, but everybody has good results so far. You know, we haven't had anybody that says this does not work for me in some way or another. Has there been any kind of clinical results like uh, have you seen? Tumors shrink, or yes, yep, yep, uh -huh. yep. so we've got patients that bring their, you know, they bring the results in every month and show us. I imagine that's pretty significant. Yes, uh -huh. one girl in particular that had a tumor removed from her brain, and then she's got one in the back of her neck. They didn't remove that because mm -hmm. it's too close to her spine, and it's risky, and it's already shrunk, shrunk by three quarters. And she's using the Rick Simpson oil, same oil that I use. And she's supplementing with CBD. You can actually take more THC oil if you use the CBD oil at the mm -hmm. same time, because it, it dulls the high, the psychotropic yeah. effect. So you don't get as high as you normally would. I tried the CBD oil with THC, yeah. and I got lost in Vero Beach. Yeah. <laughs> the next day I went back to where I was lost, it was less than a mile away from home. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. can over-medicate, that's for sure. That is, is Florida a legal state? No. Okay. It is now. We ha well, it is if you got a car. Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so, have you had any things that you feel like have been miracles around here? Um, every step of the way. Really? Every I'm sure. I am. Yes. You're a miracle? I'm a testimony. Rob doesn't even know about it. This no. is Allison Chatter. <laughs> We're going to talk to her a little later. Well, you want to tell us about it or? Um, I'll tell you later. All right. She'll tell us later. Yeah. There's almost a miracle every day as far as our patients are concerned, but just us getting to this point, I had no money whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Alice can, <laughs> she, she can attest to that. I come down here, the building wasn't even for sale, the property wasn't for sale. I told the man that I'd like to buy it. I, like I said, I had no money at the time. And uh, I just knew that this was the best spot mm -hmm. in our area. And it was, it was in what we consider the green triangle because our business district is in the shape of a triangle. And it's at the very point, so we're at the stoplight. The buildings were already here. It's seven and three quarters acres of property here, and four of it's still bare. And uh, I told them I wanted to buy it. I didn't know how I was going to buy it. I didn't know where the money was going to come from. I met my president, Troy Boquet, the skinny man right here. He's got a doctorate mm -hmm. in business, and he's been dean of students at the largest community college in our area for 11 years straight. He come to me with a back problem. He had surgery on his back. Yeah. He had got he had received his medical marijuana card, and he was still bent over, and he was facing another surgery, and he wanted to know if there's anything I could do for him. And we used a topical cream, a CBD cream, and a CBD tincture. And now he's on a volleyball league and plays golf, and he never had a second surgery, and he quit his job in higher education and come to run our company for us. So he doesn't. That was he, he doesn't take any opiates or anything. Nothing. It's just he, the oil. He was taking opiates until uh -huh. he started on the CBDs. He's completely off his opiates, and uh, he gave up his career in higher education mm -hmm. to come and run our company for us. So he's, excellent. He's the brains behind the operation, and uh, that was a miracle. I you guess know? so. so then, then his neighbor, 
won the lottery on a scratch off ticket. Uh -huh. Two million dollars, okay. Let's and he that. stepped up to buy the building for us. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's been less than a year and we've paid him off. That's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Off. That is a miracle. That's a miracle. Uh huh. So, uh, and that's with me getting a purchase agreement before mm -hmm. I knew how I was going to pay for the building. You know, I had no idea. I think we did an, uh, an interview maybe three years ago, a couple of interviews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've been working at this for how many years? It's 11 years now. 11 years. I got sick 11 years ago uh -huh. and I was in the hospital ICU, rare blood disease. And uh, they had me on 17 different prescription medicines. And I basically was able to- and There they are. After a couple of years on that and they removed my spleen and uh, after removing body parts and stringing me out on narcotics, I come across this YouTube channel. It was mm -hmm. their video it was Run From The Cure by Rick Simpson. He was an older man and he was basically growing the medicine, producing the oil and giving it away for free. He didn't charge not one soul his entire life for the medicine. He was risking his own freedom. I guess. And he uh, wasn't charging you anything. He showed you how to make it for free. It was all for free and I just, knew the man wasn't lying and uh, he had several cases different types of mutations mm -hmm. in their body that he showed on his video and it was working for all different types of things that's why in michigan we got 14 different reasons why you can use the medicine from glaucoma to crohn's to cancer to anything that has to do with chronic pain or anything that has to do with seizures and you can become seizure free off of this medicine without even using the thc the cbd will allow you to be seizure free so We've got six-year-olds that haven't had a seizure in over a year, eating CBD That's gummy amazing. bears. Yeah. And it's just amazing. So it's one miracle after another. And then from there, they wanted uh, $900,000 just to, for us to apply for our licenses, but we didn't have that money either. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our investors paid for us to go to New York, or not to New York, I'm sorry, Las Vegas, for a, a convention, a business convention involving marijuana. Mm -hmm. We went there and we stopped at a, a booth that was selling insurance and it just happened to be the insurance company is a Forbes 500 company and they agreed to be our tobacco and support us. So that's, that's what we got. That's to amazing, yeah. Rob. I don't know where. <laughs> uh -huh. That's amazing. What a miracle. And we yeah, just. That's definitely involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've just been, you know. What about cardiac artery disease? Do you have anybody come in for that? Um. We have had that. I mean, uh, th we always suggest when anybody comes in that you start with your diet, mm -hmm. obviously, and then we go from there. But that has a lot to do, obviously, with what you intake in your body. Mm -hmm. So you got to change that right away. But they, they're claiming that wow. the cannabinoids in this plant will pretty much reverse any mutation in your body whatsoever. So it just strengthens your immune system to the point where your immune system does its job and starts fixing what's wrong with you. Whether it be skin cancer, which we've, I personally healed skin cancer three times just by using it topically. And it goes away within a few days. Excellent. It's amazing. In yeah. both, all three cases, they, it was diagnosed, they were set up for surgery to have it removed and it was, re, it was gone before they got their surgeries. So. Do you have, you've got the CBD that you can sell to anybody, anybody here. Yeah. Can you do that mail order? Yes, yeah. we ship out every day. Really? Yes. Okay. And That's very, very soon good. we'll have a website and a catalog and everything mm -hmm. that you'll be able to go on and order it. We're going to produce our own CBD products here in the near future. And part of, part of our destination is to have, we're going to have a um, processing center here. So we'll be processing all our own medicines, you know, from vape cartridges mm -hmm. to vitamins and you know topicals creams soaps Anything so you can imagine we can you, infuse it you have said that you thought the michigan was going to go on to uh selling for personal use you thought yeah they're going to it, uh, it's the november polls, i think you yeah said. the polls are already in and it's like mm -hmm. a 63 percent 63 to 33 percent oh that's a big margin yeah it's huge so it's going to happen yes for sure okay so we're you got, on it. It's you, not that I'm, I'm still, main, you know, I, I treat it as a medicine. That's what I think it is. Mm -hmm. I think people have a choice, I guess, what they want to do recreational. Yeah, I'd rather have someone using cannabis than alcohol. 
stuff. I mean, oh, for sure. Be in a situation like that, you know, they don't seem to be violent. And right down the road, they have the cannabis cup, High Times Cannabis Cup, two blocks down the road, and uh, there's 50,000 people at one time in one day crowded into the racetrack down the road here. Mm -hmm. Not one accident. Not one paramedic called, not one fight broke out. <laughs> that wouldn't happen in the drinking event. Oh, well, uh, when I was a teen and early adult, you know, we were just inundated with anti-marijuana, cannabis propaganda, Absolutely. really. And a lot of that still carries over today, yes, unfortunately. But we had hoped long years before this that it would become legal. and. Look, it's happening now, and for a good reason. Absolutely. Not just not just for recreational use, but for the healing of the nations. It's really. something that mm -hmm. we use from the beginning of recorded history. Yeah. You know, so it's just been hidden from us for the last hundred years, and they did spend a lot of money on propaganda. But the truth come out now, and no one can stop it. Mm -hmm. It's come back around. Uh, they just happened to make it illegal. At the same time, we're going through a depression, so people were more concerned about what they were going to eat versus what they were putting in their medicine right. at the time. So it was a good time to do it. And it's the, the truth is out now, you know. So all them hippies were right back in the day. You know? <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to add? No, I just I'm okay. Just can we like uh, advertise you as being a mail order? Yeah, flesh for, sure. for CBD. Is that way I can just tell my brother? Yeah. Call him up. Yeah. He'll send it to you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You Very can good. basically uh, message me on Facebook if you want, Rob Lapine. Well, my brother was kidnapped in Haiti 10 years ago, and he was shot nine times and kidnapped, and then they, he, he was put away in a slum in Port-au-Prince, and he was able to escape after three days, but he's still got PTSD and he had a card up here in Michigan but because he lives in Haiti now but he did want, that's why I ask you he wanted to get some because it did, did him so much good he still got buckshot in his head you know so yeah I'm glad you mentioned post-traumatic stress because we have over 200 veterans that are member, mm -hmm. members of our network here yeah and they seem to be the ones that works for Pete you know post-traumatic stress and the best Mm -hmm. I mean, our veterans are not taking their own lives. They're productive, you know. They they don't have the night also terrors. Amputees. Amputees. Big, um, big like one. false anxiety. limb syndrome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's something. We have uh, an amputee that lost his arm, and uh, he basically got off the highest dosages of morphine and fentanyl patches, the highest mm -hmm. dosages that you can take, and he's a big man. And he got off that by Allison making him a topical rub, basically mm -hmm. a massage lotion that she made like six times stronger than usual. And it took care of his nerve pain and then he ingests the oil three times a day. And I, I developed an oil that he can take during the day so he don't get tired and then he takes one at night to help him sleep. Great. Well, you know, I, that pain cream you made, mm -hmm. I thought this, this can't work. I, I sprained my ankle. Mm -hmm. I put that on my ankle and I tell you, the pain was not only gone then, but it lasted several days, and then the thing healed up. I just couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the person that I was sharing a house with at that time tried it, same thing, and then she kind of took it away. Oh, no. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> she took it away. I'm sorry I didn't bring any with you. <laughs> That's all right. I know where to get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to run outside unless sure. you got something else to show us. Right, you can just show you real quick the rest of the All right. Again. This is going to extend into our provisioning oh, center here. Ooh, yep. And uh, this section, this will be actually have a, this is going to be a fire wall here. So our provisioning, future provisioning center is going to be on this side of the wall. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a lounge and our training center over here. We're going to have a glass blower at the end down there. It's going to be completely redone. We it's a five million dollar build out. That's how much we got to spend to get this state certified. So. And you got a ping pong table that's wired for sound. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then back here, watch your staff. This is where our processing center is going to be, and this is we're going to actually connect the processing center directly to our provisioning center. So this is. Uh, oh, you'll like it out here. Yeah. 
This is going to be our future processing center out in this building. Yeah. Hey, you got a concert stage oh, in yeah, here. Oh yeah, that's my boys. <laughs> Here, Look at that equipment. <laughs> and then our grow facility is going to be these two buildings here connected together and completely refurbished from the inside out. And you've got all this here. Yep. Yeah, and then we've actually got another building over there and that's going to be our, our future CBD um, processing center and distribution center. Are you planning to grow around here? Yes, we're going to grow inside. Two buildings right there. Oh, yep. so you, you don't have patches now, you don't have grow now? Just personal. Nothing here inside. Oh, nothing here inside. I just want to see the security, all the right. dogs running around. And no, <laughs> no. No? Not right now. <laughs> but soon, soon. I suspect we're, so. We got 178 cameras in yeah. our surveillance system here, and you got to have cards to get into the building. Oh, where it is? Yeah. Where it is? Oh, okay. No, right here. That's the, oh, what really? we're going to do here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just our surveillance system to meet the state's <laughs> sure. requirements. For, it's $300,000. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. You can get a liquor license, you know, and mm -hmm. sell Cheerios with a bottle of liquor. For sure. But they want us to be under, you know, camera 24-7, which is fine. We plan on abiding the rules. We don't want to. Mm -hmm trouble and we've already been pre-approved with the first ones in Michigan. I think it's just amazing. I mean it's just since three or four years ago when we talked so much has happened. Absolutely. It's, it's like a miracle. Yes it is. Mm -hmm. And this is basically was a business that was here when we bought it and we continued to run it but that's gonna that's going to turn into a lab and a transportation center that we're going to at least out because we're not allowed mm -hmm. to have them to businesses yeah, in our ownership when we own a processing center, a commercial grow, and a provisioning center. Oh, the so, lab. Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll still have yeah. yeah, you might have a monopoly. We'll on still the have whole. our supply chain on the same property, so we're just going to lease the space to people that have already applied for licenses. So we've got a pre-lease on it. So this is an auto body place? It's actually a uh, small engine. Oh, a small engine. Yeah. I thought it was reverting from your past. No. You know, with the auto body. I haven't really gotten into repair in the last 10 years. Ever since I got sick, that's second year. Yeah, we been, We just had an accident. He just had an accident on the car before we came. And oh, no. His son with a crowbar just jammed it up because it was hitting the tire. Yeah. yeah. You know, got your own, right? Yeah, <laughs> it happened. I still haven't heard from the insurance company <laughs> after all this time. So We've been on the road for a month. It's the dime tour. Great. So what's the joke that, that when they say, uh, what's the $10 know? tour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Free, free sure. rolls? Yeah, exactly. We joked about asking for free samples and everything on the way here, but, uh, you know, of course not. <laughs> you gotta. You'd have to take them off site, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't we say we were going to take them out to dinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chinese buffet? Mm -hmm. Chinese buffet? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I can yeah, cut this off now. Yeah, we're talking. Thank you. Here's the outside area. United we stand. Destination 420. A lot of cars here right now. Here's a little newspaper. And we've got just an open highway here. Dodge Road. And there's the Big Bear. I don't know what he's doing there, but he's smiling, I can tell you that. Very nice out here today. It's been freezing cold here in East Michigan right now.
here's the outside area. United we stand. Destination 420. A lot of cars here right now. Here's a little newspaper. And we've got just an open highway here. Dodge Road. There's the Big Bear. I don't know what he's doing there, but he's smiling, I can tell you that. Very nice out here today. It's been freezing cold here in East Michigan right now.